Well, from WWE superstar to inspirational speaker, tonight's Hux Hero uses his experience in life and in the ring to inspire students all over the country to stand up to bullies. His message of hope gives them the encouragement they desperately need. You show me your friends, I will show you your future. See, there was a time in my life I didn't want to be here anymore. And I remember looking up and just saying, Mom, you are my hero. Everything I am, everything I hope to be was because of you. We are defined by our choices. I learned what is truly important. See, we have two lives, the one we're born with, and the one we make. And the greatest risk in life is not taking one. You're gonna miss 100% of the shots you don't take. We can no longer back down. We can no longer sit down. We are gonna stand up, step up, and speak up against bullying and abuse. We are gonna be the voice of the voiceless. We are gonna bring hope to students who've been hopeless. Say, I believe. I believe. Mark Miro tours the country, empowering students to live beyond the abusive words spoken over them. Would you please welcome our Hux hero, Mark Miro. Mark, thank you for joining us. What a thrill to have you here. And I, I tell you what I admire. You, I mean, you were in the ring, you, your life was all about fighting, and now you're telling students, keep it the fights in the ring, but don't go out there and hurt other people. No, you know, it's a, it's, it's a different world today, Mike. You know, we're, you know, we were kids, you know, you might have been bullied, but at the end of the day, you, you went home and the bullying stopped. Now you can bully a kid 24-7, you know, but worse than that, I do about 250 events a year. Mm, been to schools all over the country. In fact, I leave for Guatemala on Monday. And what I notice is, is we're really experiencing a mental health issue in our country mm. that we really have to address. You know, many schools have a counselor for every four, 500 kids, but we need mental health specialists to deal with many of these problems kids are going through, anxiety and depression. The video games, the smartphones have become babysitters for many children. They're being raised by a device rather than being raised by a mother and a father who don't even want to tell them no for fear their kids will be mad at them. You know, you know it's like the, the inmates are running the asylum at this point in our lives, you know. We've got to take control of our families. Turn the phones off. Have dinner with your kids. Look in their eye. Ask them how, they, how, they, how, how their day was, what's going on in their life. You know, talk to kids. kids. You know, kids want boundaries. As much as they say they don't, they want say boundaries. Say that again. Kids and students want boundaries. People don't believe that. Oh, Mark. my gosh. Uh, you're talking to thousands of kids every year, thousands of kids, and you come away with the conclusion, talking with them, that they want boundaries. They don't want to just be turned loose. No. Mark, you, you had a successful career in WWE. You didn't need to do this. You, you could have gone on and done things that would have made you a lot of money. What motivated Mark Miro to say, I'm going to give my life to go out and do 250 events a year with kids? Well, first and foremost, you know, I, I, it's my faith in God. Hmm. And, and I, I got to tell you, as, as, a, as a follower of Christ, there's no greater joy than helping another person. And that's where I really find my happiness in life is making a difference in somebody else's life. You also have had a video go viral for Mother's Day. It has had millions of views on YouTube. What was the message that struck such a nerve oh, with people? Oh gosh, you know, my mom was the most amazing person. She always prayed pray for me, you uh -huh. know? <laughs> and I guess I finally became the man she always <laughs> knew I would be. <laughs> But, you know, I, I treat my mom terribly and uh, through alcohol and drugs and um, she'd always wait up for me, mm. stay up all night long. I come in three, four in the morning and she'd sit in this chair and I had to walk by that chair to get to my room. And she always wanted to talk to me. I never had time. And I, I, I'll never forget that. I was, I was wrestling in Japan. I heard that she, my, they got a phone call that she passed on. Uh. And I'll never forget walking out into the street in Hiroshima, Japan and just looking up and saying, Mom, I am so sorry. You know, the, the things in life we often take for granted are the things we should appreciate. Mm. And that's family. That is a powerful message. A great reminder that this is an important weekend to express genuine love for mothers if they're still with you and to, to say to them how much you appreciate them. How can we help? We just have a few seconds, but you tell us how we can help children deal with so many of the issues they're facing. Well, first of all, you know, time. 
you know, that's something that we, we, we can't get back, you know, and when you give someone your time, you give them a part of your life, and I think we've got to spend more time with each other, spend more time talking to each other instead of about each other. Hmm. Families have got to start having dinners together. What a simple thing, but powerful. Mark, I want to say to you, thank you, my friend. Thank you. What a joy to have you, and thank you for what you're doing for kids all across thank this you. great country of ours. Well, Keith is standing by to let us know how we can get involved, so we're going to turn it over to Keith. Well, if you want Mark to share his message of hope at your organization or school, just visit thinkpaws.org to find out how. And if you need some inspiration, follow Mark on social media at Mark Miro and on his YouTube channel, The Mark Miro.